What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're talking about how to add an adjustment layer in Premiere Pro. But first off on this channel, we talk about helping creators find success on YouTube. That sounds like something interesting to you. Please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. Okay, so I wanna show you guys an adjustment layer and why you would wanna add one. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is we have our video track here. So we're gonna drag the video track over into the timeline. We'll drop that there. And now that we have it on the timeline, I wanna change the color on this on the video okay so just make minor adjustments i want to make the, those adjustments now if it's just one video like this then you can do it on the actual video uh, the only thing is once you finish editing your video usually your videos is not going to be just one track like that it's going to look more similar to you're going to have a bunch of different cuts and all that in your video, right? So if you have all those cuts, now what do you do? Do you go to each video and make the changes as far as the color, uh, or do you do nested? You can do a nested uh, series here. So if I highlight everything, right click, and then move up to nest, then now I can nest this whole thing. And what it does is it brings everything together. So I can do that, and then I can go ahead and, and add the, the um, the color change there. Now the easiest way to do it though is using an adjustment layer. So if you come down here, left click there, add an adjustment layer. Now this is a 4K video, so it's showing me the dimensions, 4K, go ahead and click OK. Now that it's done that, you're gonna see there's an adjustment layer over here. So I wanna drag this adjustment layer into the timeline, and now I have the adjustment layer. Now I can enlarge it just by left clicking and just uh, dragging it out. And so that's what we have. So we have an adjustment layer. You're looking at the adjustment layer and you're saying, well, it it hasn't, it's not doing anything, right? And it's not, it's just, a, just think of it as like a Photoshop layer, it's the same thing, or think of it as just a piece of glass that's over the top of the video. So you're not, you're not seeing any difference, right? So what I wanna do is I want to add some color. So I'll go ahead and click the color tab up top here and then it will bring, it will kind of, reconfigure my Premiere Pro and now I have on this side here the different colors Now you can add exposure contrast highlights you can do all that if you want to do that uh, but right now I just want to work on the color that's that's my main thing so I can I can try to see if I can get the whites of my eye and I just picked the the white balance selector here a little drop tool here if I can get the whites of my eye then maybe I can make a change and you see it's it's a little bit it's a little off so if I had a gray card or something like that that was that was um, that I used and you see that sometimes you'll see them holding a gray card or just holding a, a piece of white paper uh, before the video starts that way they can make that that uh, white balance select they can select the white balance and, and get a, a good white balance but I can do it manually as well so I'm just gonna do it by eye and I'm on the adjustment layer make sure you're on the adjustment layer not on the video if you're on the video and you make and you make any changes it's, it's just gonna change the video what I want to do is change the glass that's over the top that adjustment layer right so I just want to it's it's warm to me so I want to make it a little cooler so I'm moving over to moving over to the blue here and that's good I'll just leave it at that we're gonna make a basic color change now I just want you to see the difference so you have the adjustment layer here there's no adjustment layer here so if I click on this side here it's just gonna go back to the same color right so under the adjustment layer not on the not under the adjustment layer so that's how you do it you just add an adjustment layer and anything that's under the adjustment layer will be affected but anything that's not under the adjustment layer is not going to be affected uh, so if you guys have any questions or comments please post them below the question i have for you guys though is how do you use adjustment layers let us know down below please like the video and please subscribe to the channel we put out new videos every week and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get notified of future videos all right talk to you guys later bye